Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Now, I am very excited. We're in Covent Garden in London and we're going to check out the Tom Ford fragrances. Francesco, thank you very much for having us here. A pleasure to have you guys. I'm so excited because I absolutely love Tom Ford fragrances. So to be in this space with literally every single fragrance around me is a dream. Yeah, you're in the world of private blend here for sure. It is, it's like an absolute dream world. How long have you worked here for? I actually have been with Tom Ford for seven and a half years. I was my first job when I moved to London and I started to work in our point of selling Harvinicals in Knightsbridge but I am the education manager for Tom Ford, so now I get to travel and work everywhere and to spend a good amount of time in this store that has been over for one year. We are coming to the first anniversary of Tom Ford Covent Garden. I'm really excited. I'm looking around and it's literally like the perfect fragrance playground. I'm seeing that they're all in sort of different categories. Are there main categories to these? They are. So these are all Eau de Parfum and they are categorized in nine different olfactive categories. Each fragrance will fit in an olfactive category based on the notes. We have Eau Fresh Eau de Cologne to open with is the fresher and then we have Fougere, Floral, Green, Mask, Leather and then we go to Oriental, Tobacco and Woods. So if someone was to come in and they sort of said I am looking for a Tom Ford private blend fragrance, where would you start them? I would definitely start by asking to the person I am speaking to what type of fragrance they enjoy wearing. To Tom Ford, fragrances are really much of the biggest mood enhancer and mood changer. And um, Tom Ford doesn't really focus on ingredients. As much as I shared with you the olfactive categories, and of course olfactive categories are arranged by uh, certain types of ingredients featuring in each one of the fragrances, but then it's about what is the mood, where does, does that fragrance take you, what does the fragrance tell about you. So I would ask you questions such as what type of fragrance do you enjoy wearing, what do you want your fragrance to say about you, do you prefer something fresher, something richer, is there any ingredient that you that you love or what is the mood that you want the fragrance to create, why do you wear a fragrance. These are all questions that help, help me understanding the type of fragrance that I'm going to introduce you next. We have two new fragrances in the Fougère olfactive category, Fougère Platine and Fougère d'Argent. Fougère actually translates as fern, okay. but there is no fern in, in the fragrance. Uh, and d'Argent means silver, so this is the silver fern and I'm going to share it with you. This is a beautiful bottle for a fragrance that is described as impeccable, dashing and provocative. Mm, it's so, like me. Right? Yeah. I was about to say. That is me. Really? All over. Is yeah. a way we could describe you too. Exactly. And, uh, and it's also a way we could describe Tom Ford if okay. you think about it. So this fragrance really reinvents the classic DNA of Fougère fragrances. It's quite of a classic Fougère. And it's converging the um, really beautiful, dashing, impeccable man with uh, the modus operandi of an agent provocateur. Okay. So the provocative mm -hmm. side and the dash inside yeah. together. This is Tom Ford's Fougère d'Argent. Wow, that's pretty sexy. It is quite sexy, mm. yeah. It's a sexy fragrance to yeah. smell on a man. Oh, that's and like, it's doing something to me. It's beautiful. Mm. Here you have lavandine. Mm. Lavandine, lavender are classic ingredients in Fougère fragrances mm -hmm. because they're fresh but not citrusy. Yeah. But you have a citrus because of course Tom Ford makes them more modern. Mm -hmm. So you have mandarin integrale. Mm -hmm. Mandarin is a, of course a citrus fruit and you can use different parts of the yeah. fruit in perfumery. Integrale means that he captures all of it. Mm -hmm. The oil from the peel of the fruit, the juice yeah. and the pulp. You also have ginger CO2 which is an exclusive method of extraction of the ginger that really preserves the fresh tones as well as the spiciness. And then you have coumarin. Mm. Coumarin is um, uh, extracted from the tonka bean and it gives a smooth, warm tone in the dry down of the fragrance. Very masculine mm. and sexy. I love this. 
I didn't think I was going to like this, but actually it's it's amazing. And it does, it's got this richness to it, doesn't it? it everything feels so premium. Yes, very luxurious. I very kind of luxurious. want to be wearing like almost like a velvet smoking jacket with this and, and kind of just be like lounging about with like my hair sort of slicked back. What's next? What's next? We are now moving to floral mm -hmm. olfactive category. Uh, the floral is another quite bijou um, collection because we have two fragrances. However, if a client asks me for a floral, I like flowers, I won't only go to the floral collection because if I go to the Eufresh, to the Neroli collection, we have Fleur de Portofino. It's also floral. Of course, it's Eufresh because it's more citrusy. When we go to the Oriental, we have florals in Soleil Blanc, we have solar, uh, floral in Noir de Noir, we have them in Champaca, we have them in the woods. So it's really about how deep you like your fragrance to be. But if we are staying within the floral collection, I feel I need to introdu introduce you to Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge. Okay. So the fragrance reflects bold tones. So imagine a beautiful red lacquered lip. Mm. So the fragrance, the bottle, had yeah. to be as red as a red lacquered lip. Sensuous, voluptuous and audacious. This okay. is how Tom Ford describes his jasmine fragrance. Jasmine, an ingredient that is also very traditional in perfumery, but Tom Ford uh, charges this fragrance with a lot of sensuality. This is Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge. Thank you. Okay. Definitely floral. Definitely floral. Slightly, I mean, I would say slightly more on the feminine side, but still has got this great weight to it. I would agree. So mm. it's uh, more on the feminine side because traditionally floral, we're used to smell floral more on women. Um, but again, it, it's surprising how beautiful mm. and fresh smells on a man because it contains clary sage, mm. which is another ingredient that you may find, for example, in Fougere. Yeah. But definitely, what do you have in this fragrance? Black and white peppercorn mm. is what almost tingles your nose when you yeah. first smell it. Sambac, Jasmine, Sepals, Absolute. Tom Ford was the first to use these night, this quality of night blooming Jasmine in perfumery. So very exclusive when it was uh, first launched. You also have, again, Amber mm. that gives that weight to the fragrance that you are mm. sensing and it makes it beautiful on a man. Also, some of these fragrances can be layered. Mm. And so you may layer Jasmine Rouge with something slightly richer to make it more mm. of a masculine interpretation. <laughs> right, what's next? <laughs> we are then moving to the green olfactive mm. category. When you think green, you think of 70s, you think of some ingredients that give you like um, an herbaceous, herbaceous tone. Um, within the collection, Tom Ford explores four different sides of green, from a green citrus floral fragrance to a green floral, a green oriental, and a green woody chipra four very different ways to create a green scent but the one i think um, you may like and i would like to introduce you today is actually the most popular out of the four it's called tom ford vert d'ensemble forgive my french as nice. i'm yeah. better on the italian side yeah. rather than the french uh, however means the green of the incense now this fragrance really explores the wild side of the Corsican coastline, Corsica in, in France, a beautiful island also known as the perfumed island, surrounded by the sea and rugged peaks, but also dense forests. And Tom Ford want, wants to really capture this contrast of sea and shadow in the fragrance that I find extremely beautiful. What is so great about this scent is that it's quite powerful. So this is, I think is great for somebody who likes fragrances that are not too rich in terms of ingredients. So not too woody or spicy, cleaner and gre more green in a way yet very powerful. When I hug, actually the store manager uh, of the store here, Rachel, she loves to wear this fragrance. Every time I go back home, I can smell the fragrance on myself because maybe I've been hugging her goodbye. And I really love this about this fragrance. It makes me think of her a lot, but I think it, it smells absolutely beautiful on a man. This is Tom Ford Verdun Sons. Okay, thank you. That is, that is amazing. It, I didn't think I was going to like this, but it is. It is that freshness, isn't it? Is the freshness coming through the shadow? Yeah, it kind of reminds me at home, kind of like walking through the forest and kind of like... I love that. It's so, it is that sort of experience of 
it picks up on the things that you kind of know because with fragrance as you sort of said you know it is about experience kind of what it means to you it's so evocative mm. fragrance really takes you back in time to a different place mm. and would take each one of us to different yeah. places but definitely i agree with you this takes me to a forest mm. it takes me to a forest because this fragrance contains pine resin mm. It's the, I was going to say, it's the resin that I can smell. The Almost resin. like when I was a child and you'd like run around, you'd get the, the sap Definitely. off the tree. And then it's, it's got the tree that. sap as well. Mm. So tree sap, good nose, good yeah, nose. Uh, pine resin, yeah. uh, fir balsam in the fragrance, mm. but then definitely incense yeah. that it gives the saltiness and the feeling of the sea of the fragrance. Yeah. I've fragrance. always told myself that I don't like green fragrances and I've always avoided them, yeah. but that is... That's amazing. It, it does make me kind of want to go on holiday and go hiking and just not working. And yeah, it's, it is good. So what is next What is next? For us? We have the Oriental olfactive category. Yes. Oriental are fragrances with ingredients that come from far places mm -hmm. or they're more spicy, definitely very evocative and they mm -hmm. take you somewhere else. Um, they tend to be richer, sometimes sweet, sometimes not mm -hmm. spicy. It's quite of a wide collection. Very popular is Soleil Blanc in this range, which comes in the white, beautiful mm. glass. It's inspired by Everlasting Summer. But the fragrance I would like to share with you today, it's uh, a little different and it's a true dual gender fragrance. It is called Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Okay. The Black of Black. Mm. It's a dark fragrance. Dark, sexy, and indulgent. Okay. Why do I say it's a truly dual gender appeal? Because the whole inspiration of this fragrance is actually about contrasting to Tom Ford feminine floral notes, mm -hmm. traditionally feminine floral notes, to more masculine, earthy mm -hmm. spices, celebrating the yin and the yang within each one of us. I'm going to spray Tom Ford Noir de Noir for you, and this is for you to appreciate. Thank you. God, that's totally different from everything else, isn't it? It is very rich. All sorts of like highs and lows there. I suppose like what you're saying about the sort of earthy sort of tones that you get there, which is more masculine, but what's on the top? Well, in this fragrance, and actually very, very good point. Yeah. So with private blend, Tom Ford does not create fragrances traditionally with the okay. classification of top, middle yeah. and base notes. What he likes to do is to take um, a core ingredient mm. that to him translates really the story into a note. Mm. And then wrap this mm. uh, center ingredient with a series of other notes mm. to really enhance it and complement yeah. it. However, traditionally ingredients, you would pick up things from your notes first. Mm. And what you may pick first is the, is the freshness of the floral tea, of the black rose. Yeah. Black rose and crocus flower give mm. the more feminine, soft side to the mm. fragrance. It's what you pick up first. And it's quite sharp. Mm. The black rose is quite yeah. fresh and zesty. But then you have this low side, yeah. as you said. It's patchouli. I cannot think of anything more mm. earthy. So anything more low and, mm. and deep than patchouli. Also, very rare and expensive mm. wood wood in mm. the fragrance. It's so warm, isn't it? It's like very it's nice. and it's got so much sort of like color to it. Beautiful, yeah. very sexy, mm. very rich, a lot of dimension in yeah. this fragrance. You've got saffron as well. It's a fragrance that from the moment mm. you will wear it, it'll stay on yeah. you until you really wash and you have to scrub yes, your skin scrubbing. really well to get it off. Uh, it's very powerful. Beautiful. All you want to do is to really, you know, spray a little bit of the mist yeah. in the air and almost and let it, it sit on yeah. you. We have uh, tobacco. Oh, yes. this is a very iconic mm. scent. It's uh, a fragrance. Back of Vigneault tobacco was the vanille. first one I owned. Yeah. There you go. And actually, a little story for you here. My friend Graham bought me this, and it was just before I went away to Australia, so I actually backpacked with this. It was very bougie backpacking. Love it. Yeah. With a bit of Tom yeah, Ford in your Tom backpack. Ford in the bag, yeah. uh, warm, opulent, and iconic. Tom Ford loves London. Mm. He has been living in London for a very long time. and. Uh, he wanted to create a fragrance to celebrate his love for London that was reminiscent of gentlemen's clubs mm -hmm. with the smell of the spices, the cognacs and the tobacco mm -hmm. from, the, from the cigars. This is still like, it's literally still one of my absolute favourites. I think when I think of sort of Tom Ford fragrances, my mind always goes back to this one. I think because too, it was my introduction to the fragrance. And is also quintessentially Tom mm, Ford. Absolutely. It's so good. In its richness mm. and opulence. Mm -hmm. 
is what everybody thinks when they come to private blend. Sometimes it takes, yeah. uh, it takes us a time to um, showcase mm. to our clients the diversity in the range. Mm. There is not only though rich fragrances. Everybody associates mm. on four with very like, oh, they're very heavy, they're very strong. Well, some of them definitely are rich, yeah. and, but then you smell as many that yeah, are much more fresh and bright. But this is to me yeah. as well, quintessential yeah. on four. This was part of the original lineup of 12 private mm. blend. When was that? What year was that? 2007. 2007, okay. And we do a beautiful um, beard oil yes. in this fragrance yeah, as yeah. well. And so we do for Neroli Portofino. So for something fresh, something more rich. And we will do for the fragrance that I'm going to show you next, which is Woodwood. Woodwood. But here you definitely yes. experience tobacco yeah. leaves, That's tobacco amazing. flower, a bit of ginger, so cocoa, dry fruits, mm -hmm. tonka yeah. bean, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would say for anyone that is passing somewhere that has a Tom Ford counter, smell this seriously I, is it one of the most popular it is definitely yeah. one of the most known fragrances yeah. in the private blend collection it's amazing okay let's okay. go to the oud so we have the last olfactive category it is the woods olfactive mm -hmm. category which also contains a sub collection called the oud wood collection yes Wood, wood, mm. rare, exotic, and distinctive. <laughs> Lovely. Most precious wood available to perfumers. Mm. It's an ingredient that is also often burns, burned in the incense field temples, engaging the mind, the senses, the body, and the spirit. So Tom Ford wanted, ahead of time, mm. cap to capture all of these and to create a fragrance that is still our one of our number one sellers. This is amazing. You can see why it's one of the most popular with guys. It's just. It is beautiful. Actually, a little story for you. I had to stop wearing this for a bit because someone I dated wore this one. So oh. every time I smelt it, I was like, no. I've just got back into it. It has taken a little bit of time, but it's amazing. Like, it's really, really... That's so mm. beautiful. It's, it's oud. Yeah. You can smell the oud in it, but it's so smooth mm. and round at the yeah. same time. You have a tonka bean, you have a bit of vanilla that yeah. makes it smooth, but you have the Chinese pepper that makes it very interesting and the rosewood, all alongside mm. the rare and expensive oud wood. Mm. It's uh, also, I think probably, out of all of these, it's almost like the most wearable in that, you know, there's some of those that I think, very summer, some other ones where I'm thinking, you know, evening on like a, a gorgeous red wine, whereas this is like, oh, I could wear it during the day, I could wear it at night. could wear it anytime. For somebody who likes mm. in the daytime yeah. something very fresh, they like a fragrance that is a bit more mm. shy, this would be maybe, in their case, their, their evening uh, fragrance. But for somebody who is used mm. to wear an oriental fragrance, you love Noir de Noir, you love mm. Plum Japonais, um, I heard you also sometimes wear Vanille Fatale. Yes. So something, you like your oriental fragrances, yeah. these, although it's woody, so although you may think, wow, wood, mm. no, wood, too strong for me, wood, or the wood is yeah. too rich. No, you're right, it's mm. definitely wearable. It's a very wearable yeah. wood, yet very distinctive because although right now mm. out there in the world of fragrance, you smell a lot of wood. Yeah. Everybody hard, from every type of perfumery, mm -hmm. from the more, let's say, mainstream uh, perfumers to, uh, and, and commercial to the more luxurious, everybody has a wood fragrance you can still recognize Tom Ford Woodwood wood when you smell it mm. on somebody. It's so unique and distinctive. I actually, I feel like this, you know, has been a fragrance playground, perfume playground, and I do have my favorites. I think for me, the Noir de Noir was amazing. And then also, what was the green one? Verdun Son. Verdun Son, which is absolutely amazing. I think Santa is gonna have a very long list of things that I want this year. But thank you very much. I really enjoyed this. It was my pleasure. It was fun. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. If you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed this, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then press subscribe. It's going to be somewhere on this screen. Let's just say it's going to be in here. There's also more video suggestions down here. Link to my blog is there. Instagram and podcast will be over here. But thank you again. See you in the next new video. Bye-bye.